hello and welcome back to the new lecture over here and in this lesson we are going to learn about the another creation of pattern which is of a builder pattern using a dark and a builder pattern is useful when you have a very large uh, complex constructor and you want to simplify the object creation so let's say you have a, a class that takes a lot of the constructor parameter and um, when you create that particular object but you may only need certain parameters so maybe you have a 10 parameters on the constructor but to construct that particular uh, object you may just need one or two parameter actually the rest of them may be optional so uh, this pattern will actually help us to simplify the object creation of the this kind of the uh, large constructor so i uh, will be using a builder pattern to uh, construct our object so let us get started and do it uh, say it in practical way so let's say i have a, a class over here and uh, what i can do is i can create a class let's say a pizza and uh, when i create a class pizza maybe uh, to create this class maybe you need certain uh, maybe uh, uh, parameters to pass it right so let's have uh, a field uh, over here so let's say i have a first int uh, maybe i have this can be of a nullable type and let's call this one as a diameter and um and then maybe you can have a name and this name may be a name of this particular pizza and uh, let's have uh, another let's say you have another one as a string and maybe you can have a cheese right and i guess i'll make them all of them as a private variable so let me take it as a private variable so i don't want to get access it from the another class and uh, then maybe you can have some like let's say uh what does the pizza have let's say a uh, crust and uh, then maybe you have some oh uh, maybe you can have a lot of the uh parameter over here but i will just stick to some uh, i will just have a set and let's say this is a type of the string sorry it should be of a set and the type is of the string and uh, then maybe we can say something like a, a topping over here right so let's say we have a topping over here now we have this particular uh, class and let's override the two string uh, because it's important to override it to a string to get the uh, string of this particular class so let's say we return a string and we call it as a pizza and then i'll just say underscore um, sorry uh, at uh, where is that uh, and dollar sign underscore the uh, first we'll say the diameter okay it should be spelling is not correct right diameter and that should be fine and uh, then let's have another one as a dollar underscore we have a name of this pizza and then uh, dollar underscore we have a cheese and then we will have a um, dollar underscore sorry it should be of a dollar underscore we have a crust and then finally we have a dollar underscore of the uh, topping so let's return the string type from here and uh, when I create this particular uh, pizza, sorry, pizza over here, and uh, this pizza will now have to take all of this parameter. Maybe you are uh, here, maybe for a demo, I just have a few parameters, but actually, you may have a lot of other parameters over here. But to just to create a pizza, I may just need a diameter and the name of that pizza, right? Uh, maybe I need a 12 inch pizza which is named as uh, maybe hot and spicy pizza or maybe a Hawaii pizza or maybe you can call a different name right so uh, but what we want to do over here is uh, let's go over here and uh, let's have utilize a builder uh, pattern over here so what I will do is I'll go and create another class over here maybe we can uh, use in the same okay so let me use it in the same over here same file so I'll just create a class and let us call it as a pizza right builder and uh, this pizza builder will have the same type of the all of the class fields 
so let us have sorry I need to copy all of this the fields from here okay so now we have this same field over here and I will create a pizza builder and this pizza builder will just take this underscore dot uh, sorry this dot underscore diameter and we'll just take this dot underscore name so we'll just take a two name uh two parameter over here one is of a diameter and another one is of a name and rest all of those are the optional to construct this particular pizza builder so now what we will have is we will have a string and we'll uh, have a getter and setter so we want to get the value and also able to set the value so let's say we have the string uh, let's say we want to string nullable type of uh, let's say we want to get the cheese and this will return as the underscore cheese and then uh, we can also have a void to set the cheese and uh, this will just take it as a string and of it's of a nullable type and let's say it's of a value and here we can just say that the cheese is of equals to the value that we are passing in so uh, we can we have a getter and setter for cheese we need a crust and also for the topping so I'll just copy this and just paste it below and this will be for our crust right crust and this should return as the underscore crust and we need to set the uh, crust uh, crust crust and then we have a value and we set it as a to our crust and then finally we have the uh, set of the type is of the string and it can be of the uh, nullable type and then we set this to get the O P P I N G topping, sorry, T O P P I N G topping, and the return type is of underscore the topping, and then I can uh, void as set the. Uh, I need to set it as a topping, and this topping we will uh, just take the uh, set and the type is of the string, and then we'll just see uh, we need the nullable type and the value, right? And then we will just set it for our underscore topping each of equals to the value that we are getting so now we have this particular uh, uh, what we call it as a getter and setter right so we have a getter and setter over here and now I will just have uh, one more over here uh, function which will return us the uh, let's say we will return from here a pizza class right and uh, we will set this one as a build method or the build function and then uh, doesn't take any parameter but this will uh, return us the uh, pizza from here and uh, let's go to our pizza now when we construct this pizza what we'll need is a pizza builder we will need a pizza builder for this uh, pizza constructor and let's say this one as a builder over here and now we can just say that underscore diameter is of equals to the uh, builder dot the uh, diameter that we have and we'll set all of the properties now name each of equals to the uh, builder dot the underscore name right and then we have a uh, underscore cheese which is of equals to the uh, builder that we have that underscore the cheese and then we will have the uh, underscore crust and that is of equals to the uh, builder that we have the underscore builder dot underscore crust right and then finally we have a one more which is of underscore uh, topping which is of equals to the builder dot underscore uh, topping so now we have this uh, pizza constructor over here and now the here we need to pass in this particular builder over here so now we have this particular class which is of one is of a pizza builder and another one is of a builder so which means now uh, when we create uh, when we want to create a pizza we need to use a 
pizza builder because pizza builder is the one that is going to build our pizza over here you can see uh, in the pizza builder class we have a build function which returns us the pizza and uh, this pizza takes us this uh, parameter as constructor parameter for the pizza builder and then in the this particular class once we get that pizza builder and we will set all of our uh, value for our local properties which is diameter name cheese crust and the topping and uh, user doesn't have any of the getter and setter in this particular pizza class because they are not able to get all of these properties the setter can be only on the pizza builder because you want to set a value through the pizza builder because pizza builder is the one that is constructing the pizza so in the pizza class you may have the um, getter but not the setter okay just keep in mind you can have a getter there in the pizza but you cannot have a setter setter is we will use it from the pizza builder this is the only class that can set the uh, that can build the pizza so let's go and uh, i can also create on the uh, same file for to run it but uh, what I want to do is I want to create a new uh, file over here just to make sure that uh, we can only get and uh, set the value on our uh, pizza builder not in the uh, not in the pizza class if you use it, the same file the private variable of this particular class is accessible so we don't want to uh, confuse you or I don't want to confuse you actually uh, why the private field are getting accessed by the another class or the uh, the method that we have creating uh, in that it's uh, simple that if you are if you are on the same class you can if you are on the same file uh, which is basically a package and uh, that file can have access to all of the uh, private variable from the another class uh, inside that particular uh, file so what i will do is i'll create a uh, let's see a uh, builder uh, i'll call it as a builder underscore main dot the uh, let's have the dot the dot file and I can have a main function and let's say I have a, a final p1 which is of uh, equals to the uh, pizza sorry not pizza <laughs> it should be of a pizza builder and once I have a pizza builder I need a diameter which is of let's say of 12 and name you can just give a name of a uh, pizza and a let's see and once we have this uh, pizza what we can do is uh, we can uh, you can actually you can actually get the uh, pizza builder over here which means that now you actually uh, can set the values or you can actually build the pizza if you don't want to uh, set the other properties for this uh, the pizza and you just want to create a simple pizza out of it uh, without any of the topping crust cheese you just want a simple pizza so i can just see uh, over here let's see maybe i can call this one as a builder not the pizza so here i will just see a uh, uh, final uh, p1 which is actually is a pizza so i'll just see a uh, builder that we have dot i'll just say uh, i'll just build it and this will build us the pizza over here you can see we get the written value as the pizza now and now i can just go and uh, print it and i'll print the p1 from here and i can run this one and you can see the pizza 12 pizza a and the other value are hardly not so which means that we are able to create a simple pizza all right without passing extra parameters or the optional value but in case you need a ex another kind of the pizza, you can use the builder again. So I'll just say I'll make this as a builder one. And uh, now I will create another object out of it. So let's go over here. And I have, uh, let's say this is of a type uh, 8, 8 inch pizza. And I'll just create a builder two over here. And let's, uh, let's say builder two and this should be of a p, p2 and here we'll print a p2 over here but now we want to add some extra things like uh, a builder one a builder two dot i want to set some cheese over here and i'll just say as a uh, extra cheese and uh, then maybe i want to set a builder two dot i want some 
uh, crust maybe I, I, I want to have a thin right uh, you can set the extra value right so builder 2 dot I want to set some uh, topping and this topping I need to set it from the set right and I will create it from the elements so I'll just say maybe I'll pass in something like uh, maybe a uh, uh, chil other option from here over here so let's go and uh, run this one and you can see we got created a pizza and extra cheese thin so we added other option of optional parameter over here and we created a different kind of pizza out of it so this is a builder pattern and uh, you may have used already or you, you may have already a, a work with it maybe if you are an uh, android developer there are a lot of the builder patterns in a uh, lot of the libraries that we are using but if you haven't uh, used it before now you know how to create a builder builder pattern right so you need to have when you want to create or when you want to construct the object and it may have a lot of different parameters and to use that it may not be necessary to create that particular object we may just need to pass a few constructor just maybe a one or two which uh, is a required parameter and other may be optional to create that particular builder so when you have a large complex object creation but you can also make it simplify using a pizza builder i'm uh, sorry not the pizza builder it's the builder pattern okay so uh, i hope you understand the concept of uh, the uh, builder pattern and how we can use it and uh, this is uh, important for some of your interview questions uh, people may be asking about the uh, builder pattern uh, singleton pattern so all of this stuff and i, I hope you enjoyed this lecture and uh, we'll meet up in the next one till then have a great day